So about two months ago, um, I got a um, flame knee tarantula, Brachypelma auratum. So when I got her, um, first thing I noticed is that she wasn't really being kept um, in the best way. She didn't have much substrate at all. Um, and just a little coconut hide, which in my opinion was way too small for her. Um, so of course, um, you know, in my opinion, if you have an animal, you should always give him the nicest and most realistic habitat that you can. So gave her a lot of substrate, um, nice hide, and also um, so she could actually dig her own burrow. Um, and make herself feel at home and safe. Um, so yeah, because then when I got her, um, I wanted to feed her one day and I noticed something looking strange about her. And I actually noticed in the left tooth, it's actually broken off. You can see a pretty good one and turn it like that. So her right tooth from my perspective right now, the left tooth. So it's just broken off. And what is most likely to have caused that and which sadly still occurs with a lot of um, tarantulas just because people don't know any better is that she was fed too early after um, molting. Because as you know, this right here, what I'm holding is her molt, her old molt. Um, so tarantulas, they don't have bones like we do. They have what's called an exoskeleton. And that means that their outer shell is hard. So it can't grow anymore, it's hard. Um, so they have to molt in order to be able to grow and expand. Um, but when they do, they are very soft because obviously you know their inside is is very soft and um, if they weren't soft they wouldn't even be able to get out of their old exoskeleton because they kind of you know like wiggle out of it like an octopus I'll blend them some pictures for you and if you've ever seen one molt you can clearly see that the ligaments and all of that is pretty white and um, also especially you could, the best thing in my opinion where you can see it is the teeth they are just completely white, so they are really, really soft. Um, and there's been arguments in the internet and all over about how long you should wait um, to feed your tarantula after that. Um, well, in my opinion, about three weeks should be adequate. Um, some people say two weeks is enough. You know, in my opinion, um, in a case like that, better be safe than sorry. Um, and just give her three weeks and then feed her again. So yeah, she molted three weeks ago. I checked on her, checked on her teeth and all looks fine. Um, the teeth grew back. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, both teeth have are there. And the left one has also regrown perfectly. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please make sure to leave a like and comment. And yeah, if you want to see any um, other videos, any suggestions, anything like that, feel free to leave that in the comment section. And yeah, thanks.